If you have a linen or silk shirt that no longer fits, you can give your shirt a new lease on life by converting it into a sexy, skin-bearing cowl neck top, like this lovely top from the brand Subsurface. This refashion works best on shirts that are made out of cotton gauze, linen, silk crepe, or silk charmeuse or satin. All you'll need for this project is my free downloadable pattern, which I'll link to in the description to this video, and a sewing machine. Let's get started. Start by cutting your shirt open so you have a flat piece of fabric. I started by cutting the sleeves off first. Then cutting off the collar and then cutting down the shoulder seams. If your shirt has a back yoke, like mine does, cut that off too. Do not cut down the side seams of the shirt. We want to keep those intact so we have the largest possible piece of fabric to work with. After you're done cutting your shirt, give the entire shirt a good press, making sure to iron out any pleats that might have been in the original shirt. Once your shirt is pressed flat, take the pattern piece and position it so that the marked grain line is on the grain line of the shirt. To make sure my pattern piece was properly placed, I measured the same distance up on both side seams and aligned that with the marked grain line on the pattern. The pattern piece will look like it is on the diagonal, and that's intentional because this will mean that the fabric will be cut on the bias, i.e. on the diagonal grain. It is the bias cut that gives the cowl neck its lovely drape. When placing your pattern, Note that it's okay if the edge of the pattern extends beyond the side seams of your shirt, but try to place the side seam in the facing part of the pattern if you can. That way, the side seam of your shirt will be hidden in the facing in the inside of your top, and it won't show on the outside of the top. Once the pattern is properly placed, pin around the edge of the pattern and cut the piece out. Snip a notch at the place where the facing folds over. Next, finish the top edge of the facing using your desired edge finishing technique. My linen shirt fabric is pretty thin and easy to handle, so I decided to finish the edge by folding over the fabric twice, about a quarter of an inch each time, and top stitching it down. Once the top edge of the facing is finished, Fold the facing over at the notch, matching right side to right side. Stitch the side seams with a quarter inch seam allowance. Clip the corners to reduce bulk, then turn the facing right side out and give it a good press. Now you just need to finish the remaining edges. I used the same technique to finish my other edges, folding over the edges twice and then top stitching them down. All that is left to do is to add the straps. You can use ready-made satin cording for the straps if you want the look of super delicate straps. I've included a link in the description box to some satin cording that I recommend. If you go this route, you can either try to match the color of your top or go for a contrasting color, which is what I did in this sample here. Another choice is to make spaghetti straps out of the remaining fabric in your shirt. Cut one inch wide strips from your remaining fabric. I cut off the button stand on my shirt. Then I cut a strip along the center front so I could get the longest length possible. Aim for a length of around 22 inches per strip. This will give you enough length so you can tie the straps on the finished top. Fold the strip over and stitch down the long edge of the strap using a quarter inch seam allowance. Also stitch closed one of the short ends of the strap. Trim the seam allowance down to an eighth of an inch, then turn the strap inside out. This can be a little tricky as this tube is really long and narrow, so I use this handy loop turner to help make things easier. It's only about five bucks 
and it really does make it much, much easier to turn out these tubes. Once the tube is turned right side out, press the strap flat and hand stitch to the corners of the napkin top. The top straps tie around your neck to form the cowl neck, while the two sets of side straps tie around your back. And with that, we're done. Pair the napkin top with some low-slung jeans for the ultimate 90s look.